What's up everybody, e Rivera 94 with another action figure review and this time we're taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation Star Wars Rogue One SH figure it's combat assault tank commander pretty much the hover tank trooper the one that we saw in the movie right in that hover tank and that one specific scene that I'm not gonna go into detail because it's spoilers so anyways here's the side of the package here's the back then the other side so without further ado let's get him out the package and see how he looks so here we have the Combat Assault Trooper out of the package and I like it a lot. Holy cow, I like it more than I thought. As soon as I got him out of the package, it looks great. I like the feel, like the paint, the details, the subtle details. There's just such good attention to detail on this figure that I I love it. I love when, when Bandai does stuff like that and it, they just make it look so realistic. The realism and in, in the detail on the figure, it, it's, it's fantastic. It looks great. It really does look great. We're going to take a closer look at it. It just looks fantastic. We're also going to compare the Hasbro with the Bandai. Of course, I have Hasbro's version on his knee, uh, but Bandai's version is shorter. Um, you can see what Hasbro did with theirs. They did the dirt and grime, uh, the kind of yellowing to the armor. So we have lots of yellowing. He's a lot more dirty, which isn't bad. I like that. I like it. I actually like this figure a lot, um, but I think I like this one a little bit better. This one has the dirt and grime too, and that's the subtleness that I was talking to you guys about. Um, it's very subtle, and we'll look at that when we get a closer look at the figure. So first, we're going to look at the accessories, and we have his blaster rifle right here. Pretty much what we've seen before, nothing special. They're, they're continuing on with the trigger being all black without the, uh, you know, without a hole in there to put a finger inside the trigger which is just so irritating to me i don't like it at all they never used to do that i don't know why they're doing that now they're just doing the pointing finger and having the finger go over the trigger which is okay because you know you hold a gun like that sometimes if you don't have your finger on the trigger but still i don't know i like uh seeing that there's a trigger there you know i like seeing you know even when he's holding the gun without aiming it without you know trying to pull the trigger there's it looks more real if there's a trigger on the gun if you could see it but i don't know it's just me i guess uh the barrel has a silver paint on it just like we saw with the scarf trooper but we do have hands so we have the pointing fingers which are trigger fingers i guess so same as always and then the barrel holding hands which are the same as always as well and then the fist hands are the same as always as well on the figure so standard stuff for troopers so there he is i like the armor i like how realistic the armor looks it does look good um very good very subtle but i don't know if it, i don't know if the camera will pick it up and his torso is the dirt and grime i'm talking about it's got dirt and grime on there it's not as excessive as the hasbro version but it's there uh, we got the lines all you know shaded in on the you know shin guards you see it a lot Right there, I'm not sure if that mark is just like a, a paint splotch or what. Might, maybe, but I like the dirtiness to the boots. That honestly doesn't bother me much because of the detail of the dirtiness on him. So, there's that. The back of the helmet looks nice. The sculpt is fantastic. The paint's fantastic too. I like the use of the paint for the, um, for the thighs here. For the under the undergarments, I guess you can see the under pants. I don't know how you can call that the the clothes under the armor, I guess. Uh, so that paint's different. It's nice texture to it. The paint on the black too is different. Very nice. It's not the shiny glossy paint that we see on the armor. So you see the difference in paint. That glossy paint makes that armor look real. It looks like an actual stormtrooper armor. So that's nice. So onto the articulation of the figure, we got the head going left and right, up and down a lot. Very good movement there, around, ball jointed hinge, so very nice. Arms go forward and back, in and out. That shoulder guard is hinged like we're used to. We've got a bicep swivel, got that shoulder socket there. We have a double jointed elbow, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Diaphragm joint that swivels, goes forward and back with a waist swivel as well, goes forward and back. Legs go forward and back. We have the utility belt here with the belt. Uh, that hinges, legs go forward and back. I think it does drop down. Yep, just drop down as each figure itself. It does a lot more movement in and out as well. Double jointed knees. It does have a thigh swivel. 
Got the ankles going forward and back, ankle pivot and ankle swivel. Very nice. So that concludes my review on the SH Figuarts Combat Assault Hover Tank Trooper by Bandai Tamashi. This is a fantastic figure. I think I like him more than the Shore Trooper and I love that Shore Trooper. They just make fantastic troopers. They really do make fantastic stormtroopers. They just have that just down. They're, they're killing it. They really are killing it. I, I love it. They did a, such a great job with this figure. I love this one. This is a great figure. I'm so happy with what they're doing with Star Wars. I have so much faith with Bandai. They do such a great job with the SH Figure Arts line with, with almost every line. So with that said, this is yet another great addition to your Star Wars SH Figure Arts collection. I highly recommend it. Go pick it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys would like. And don't forget to have a great day. Bye. Crispy.